Imagine a small town called Bethlehem, where a baby boy named Jesus was born to a young woman named Mary and a carpenter named Joseph. This was not just any baby. He was the one that many prophets had predicted would come and save the world. He was the Messiah, the hope and light for all people. But not everyone was happy about his birth. King Herod was afraid that Jesus would take his throne, so he ordered to kill all the baby boys in the town. Mary and Joseph had to escape with Jesus to Egypt, following God's dreams. Jesus grew up to be a very wise and smart boy. When he was only 12, he amazed the teachers in the temple with his knowledge of the scriptures. But he waited until he was 30 to start his amazing work for God. He chose 12 friends from different backgrounds, like fishermen and tax collectors, to join him on his mission. Jesus did incredible things that no one else could do. He healed the sick, made the blind see, turned water into wine, and even brought the dead back to life. He showed everyone that he had God's power. He also taught people about God's love, forgiveness, and faith. He used simple stories, called parables, to explain deep truths. He made God easy to understand. But some people were jealous and angry at Jesus. They did not like his popularity and his message. They wanted to get rid of him. They tricked one of his friends, Judas, to betray him for 30 silver coins. They arrested Jesus and accused him of crimes he did not do. They gave him to Pontius Pilate, the Roman governor, who sentenced him to die on a cross. Even though Pilate did not think Jesus was guilty, Jesus suffered a lot on the cross. People mocked him and hurt him. But he still loved them and asked God to forgive them. He died and was buried in a tomb with a big stone to seal it. But that was not the end of his story. Three days later, the tomb was empty. Jesus came back to life. He appeared to his friends and many others for 40 days. He taught them more about God and faith. He then went up to heaven, but he did not leave them alone. He promised to send them the Holy Spirit, God's helper, who would guide them and all who believe in him. That is how Christianity began.